Hey everybody, welcome to the Ultimate Swimmer March Madness Division One Men's Recap Show. Tonight is the first night, and uh, Wednesday, March 24th, we had the 800 free relay. I love that tradition, how we now do the 800 free relay to kick off the week and let the guys kind of uh, focus on other events Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. But it's really uh, a great honor to have our, our guest with us today, uh, including my co-host Noah Yanchulis. Who's a 200 free guy? I'm a 200 free guy, and now we have one of the best 200 free guys of all time, 2016 Olympian, and uh, the one who really took the 200 free down to a special place. We have not the one and only Townley Haas with us tonight. Townley, welcome to our recap show. Thank you for having me. So, Townley, you're you're no stranger to the 800 free relay. Um, <laughs> so. Uh, let's talk about tonight's relay first, and then we'll get your thoughts and your experiences with that relay, and especially on the Texas team. So, Noah, give us a quick uh, recap of what went down tonight. Yeah, for sure. So, started off eight free relay like always. Um, Texas was the heavy favorite coming in, and uh, for a little while, it didn't really look like they were the favorite. Uh, <laughs> Texas A and M led off with Shane Cassis one thirty point five. Florida was out with uh, with Kieran Smith one twenty nine six. Texas had a great lead off from uh, Drew Kibler, 130.6 as well. But at the uh, at the 400 mark, Texas was in third by a couple body lengths. And uh, it started, it was a little bit, a little bit nerve wracking for a little bit, but they closed really well. Car- Carson Foster, 131.5, an awesome split on that third leg. And then closed with Jake Sanum, 132.0. So th- Texas ended up winning 6.072. Just a little bit faster than they went at midseason. Cal finished second, 608, and then Texas A&M third and Florida fourth. So really exciting uh, way to start off the meet and some some solid splits as well. Well, I loved how all four of those top teams were in the final heat together, and it was kind of fun to have the lane spacing like it was so you could really enjoy uh, you know, how they were moving around each other. Because sometimes when there's eight – relays for an 800 it gets a little hard to watch but just having four in that final heat was was really exciting and and I got a little nervous there in the middle um Townley give us your thoughts on that relay in particular and then we can talk about some of your past relay experiences uh yeah I was also extremely nervous um (laughs) I think I think I got more nervous watching this than I did ever swimming um (laughs) Yeah, I, I thought Drew's leadoff was was awesome. I thought uh, uh, Shane and Kieran were were you know fast as as everyone thought they were going to be. Um, I to be honest, I thought Kieran was going to go a little faster, but uh, one twenty nine six is is nothing to be ashamed of for at in any way. Um, yeah, I thought I thought it was a great relay. I was I was definitely nervous uh, around the four hundred. Uh, you know, it looked like. Uh, uh, I'm not sure who went second on the Austin, A&M. Yeah, Austin, Austin was a little off. I mean, 133.0 is no slouch, but it's, you know, these days, if you're not 132, you're probably not going to win. And yeah, so, for sure. And, and that, the, spot. Yeah, the A&M guy was, uh, and the and the Cal guy as well were both, their second places were fast. Um, I know they the Rowdy actually said on stream that, you know, they kind of, front loaded their relays and, and right. with Texas, you know, we, we have enough people that we can, we don't really front or back load, you know, all, all of our guys are fast. So yeah, to see Carson, you know, ripple 131 was awesome. And then Jake, you know, just, just coming home, closing it out. Uh, you know, that, that Texas tough fashion was awesome, but I, I was really nervous in the middle there, but, uh, it, it, it worked out for us. Yeah. Carson's last 75, last 50 was huge. He was 44, six, at the feet. And then I think it was, came back in like 45, nine or 46 or something crazy. So, yeah, I mean, he, he, his last 50 was, uh, I think it was 23 low or something like that. I mean, that's, that's yeah. insane, you know, to, to be able to, to close that fast. Yeah. So that, that was really the, the cushion we needed to hold off Cal. And, um, but yeah, I mean, the team race has already started. We've got a few points over Cal, and we need to keep it that way. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. So no room for error because Cal was really good at their conference meet. Um, you know, and our and Texas conference meet is just, you know, we only have to we don't have to we don't have to show all of our cards, you know. So it's kind of interesting. Well. <sighs> 
what um tell us your history with the 800 free relay um you've always they've always done it wednesday night when you were there right yeah so i think my my freshman year was the i think the second year that they had done it they had switched either the year before or the the one before that um so i never i never experienced the you know the triple 200 free uh, or anything like that uh so luckily um yeah you know, I, I did it in high school a couple of times, but that's a, you know, that's a rough place to have the, the four by two and a free. Um, yeah, my, so my freshman year um, was at Georgia Tech. I got put on it. I think I was, I was second or third, um, split a 130, which was very fast. It surprised a lot of people, including myself. Um <laughs> And then, uh, then obviously went on that, that year to, to go one thirty individually as well. And then, uh, and I, I remember that race cause you, you got the record first guy to really get down under, under one thirty like that. And that was the American record. Then you go to the Olympics and that was cool. And you're a big <laughs> contributor on that relay. And you're, I assume you're pretty fired up for your sophomore year. And then tell us what happened your sophomore year at NC's that's 2017 now, right? Yeah, 2017. Yeah, I, w- I was fired up. I, uh, you know, I, I definitely uh, maybe took took a little too long to to get back into it after the Olympics. Um, so it wasn't, you know, my my worst year by any means, but it, or it wasn't a horrible year, but it was, uh, you know, not as fast as I wanted to go. Um, you know, I think I was I still split 130, um, but you know, I just I wanted to be a little faster. I wanted to get under that 130 mark. Um, but I think, uh, you know, we, we still won that relay. I still won the one individually. So it was, it was a good year. It was a fast, actually, was that the year that NC state won? No, that was, uh, 18, I think. Yeah. That's right. I believe, um, I believe NC state won 2017 and 18. Sorry to break it to you. Well, dang. <laughs> um, <laughs> never mind. Uh, <laughs> So it was not as good as a relay as I thought, as I recall, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I still went 130. It was still fast. Uh, but you know, just not, not quite what I wanted. Um, I was pretty disappointed. Um, had a pretty good, still pretty good meet. You know, we obviously, uh, you know, we, we took that meet and ran away with it that year. So. And then 2018, your junior year, was that the one where you went 129? Yeah, so 2018 was Minneapolis. Um, NC State won that year as well, um, as Noah just informed me. Uh, that was the year that I, I, Blake and I both led off. Uh, I went 130. He went 129. So he was technic- He was actually the first person under. That's right. Um, that's right. I remember now. Yeah, and then uh, two days later, I went 129.5. I beat Blake. Uh, so I re. I was actually. I didn't have the American record for about uh, 48 hours and then I got it back yeah. um, and I held, held it until, until the next year. But yeah, that, I mean, I remember that being a, a really good relay as well. You know, it was just, just one of those times where NC state had just four insane guys in the 200 and there was just, you know, there was nothing we could do about it. Um, you know, I, I remember that year being like, not, not even close. Uh, if I recall, you know, they, they, they were, they were definitely going to win it, but, uh, yeah. So one, one thirty on the relay again, and then, uh, and then one twenty nine individually. That's cool. And then how did, how did Texas do in 2019 in that relay? Do you remember? Yeah, we crushed it. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. I think I, I can't remember if I was first or last. Um, but I, I split one thirty again. Uh, apparently that's what I can go on a relay. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we, we crushed, I think NC state was six Oh eight the year before or six Oh nine. And we were like six Oh six, um, or six Oh seven, something like that. I can't remember exactly. But, yeah, we, we crushed six Oh five. Oh, six Oh five zero. So Drew, yeah. Katz, Newkirk and you and six Oh five. So you guys, so five, okay. Yeah, I mean, no uh, one's really gotten close. Wow, to that, I don't, I don't know, I don't know any times, do I? Um, <laughs> yeah, that I just remember that being an an incredible relay. You know, we all swam lights out. We were all 
bit, uh, pretty much as fast as we could possibly go. Um, and, yeah. you know, going 605 in our home pool, pool record, American record, team record, all that stuff. Yeah, it was it was awesome to to start out the meet like that as well, you know. Yeah, that's great. Um, what do you what do you credit your ability to go out so fast? You know, I mean, putting it putting your feet on at 43. You were the first guy to do that. Um, and then holding on, you know, you had a nice distance background from Nova, but what, what do you, do you think it was just, just a whole nother level of training with Eddie and the guys and just, you know, it was just the timing was right for a big jump. Yeah. I mean, I don't know that there's, you know, necessarily one thing I could point to. Um, you know, I, I do think the, my background on Nova helped a lot. Uh, you know, we did some pretty good distance stuff. We did some pretty, really tough IM sets. Um, you know, especially for those of us that aren't other stroke inclined, um, <laughs> you know, to be just, just doing four IMs and stuff like that. And then, yeah, I think, I think going, uh, going to Texas and then, uh, you know, Eddie basically just dropped me in a lane with Clark Smith and Michael McBroom. Um, and, you know, just basically said, good luck. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, you know, I just spent a full year, uh, you know, however, six, eight months, just, uh, just trying to keep up with Clark and Michael and, uh, you know, just doing as fast as I can. And I, I think that was a big part of it. You know, I started out the first couple of weeks doing kind of more mid distance training. And then I think he, he decided that that wasn't enough and, and threw me over in, in distance. And I think that was really what, uh, what got me able to, to hold on, to go out and hold on, like you said, you know, cause I, I had, you know, definitely had the speed, but I think training with, with those guys helped me, uh, helped me be able to, to flip at 43 and, and keep going as best I could. Yeah. Well, I love that. I, I love getting some insight into your, into your background in this relay and, and in the 200 free and, you know, thanks for putting on such a great show for so many years at NC2A and now for the USA team. And, um, can you give us just a little insight into how you're training now and, and how it's getting, how, how it's going, getting ready for trials. Uh, yeah, you know, we're, we're in the grind. Um, you know, we had, we went to a bunch of us went to the San Antonio pro swim. So we had a little bit of rest for that. Um, not as, you know, it's never as much as you want. So, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we're, we're back into the grind. We had a, a little, a little stop before the the meet with uh the all the snow and stuff like that but uh you know we're getting back into it we've been we've been grinding pretty hard last week and this week um why it's been sending us some pretty tough practices to do so we're uh, we're grinding for sure we'll do that for a little bit and then get into the rest for for trials yeah well I think some of these guys that were on the relay with you a uh, relay tonight will might be with you on the relay for the USA team. I'm, I'm betting. I, uh, yeah, I could, I could see it. And I, I, you know, I truly hope so. They're uh, a group of insanely fast guys. So. Yeah, that's cool. Well, again, we can't wait to uh, cheer you and support you at trials. And thanks for reminiscing with us about great 200 freeze and great 800 relays. And uh, so glad you guys got the American record and it's still safe for a little while. <laughs> so yeah but, uh, Downley, we're behind you and Noah any other closing questions or thoughts uh yeah I just have one quick question and I think about this yeah. with all the the fastest swimmers in the world so Townley, right like you're talking about training with Clark and Michael McBroom and all these these crazy guys Jack Conger I'm sure was some of mm -hmm. the same way but can you share um what you think is the most impressive thing you ever did in a practice at Texas if you wouldn't mind because that kind uh, of me, stuff. I like love me it. personally or something that I saw uh either or if it was if you think you did the most impressive thing you've ever seen then you can show oh, no absolutely <laughs> not um <laughs> uh I mean I, I don't know I think the the thing I look back to for myself uh we do we do a set we just call them broken fives um and it's a it's they're broken 500s and we do a 200 on uh, 220, two ones on 210 or 110, and then 250s on 45. Um, for a, for a 500 add up, and you know we'll do a group of three, a group of four, a group of five, a group of two, something you know, however, whatever, however mean Ed is feeling that day. Um, and the the fastest one I ever did, well, I added up to a 356 or 357. 
Um, and Clark, you know, of course, Clark was like 353 or something insane. Uh, not that 57 isn't insane, but uh, that's to me the most it, most impressive, but also just the coolest thing I've ever done, you know, to be able to say, you know, and that's not an easy 500 add up, you know, that's, you know, that's going out under 140 uh, in, a, in a 200 and then having to rip two ones and two fifties right after. Yeah. And it's not uh, like they're on five minutes rest or something like that. You're just, no, like, yeah, they're, they're nice. crazy. Um, and then, I mean, Clark is the, just the most insane trainer I've, I've ever seen um, <laughs> and ever even heard of, um, you know, the, just the stuff that, that he can do, you know, he'll throw in a buoy and, and go, you know, nine minutes and a thousand, like almost no question. Um, uh, it doesn't he, even make sense. No, it doesn't at all. He did. This was pretty recent, actually. He did. Uh, he did three five hundreds. They were on four forty, four thirty, and four twenty. <laughs> Come on, uh, are you serious? Oh my gosh! Yeah. So he did. The first one was like four twenty six. The next one was like four twenty eight, and then the third one was like four twenty four. So he didn't quite make the set, but I mean. <laughs> Oh my god! You know he went he went three he went under four thirty three times in a row with I mean literally on four forty four thirty and it was like he was you know Clark's a pretty he's pretty tough on himself to be honest you know he he was not happy with it and then all of us we got out of the pool to watch him do it and we're just standing there with our mouths hanging open like <laughs> you know he, he you just went four twenty like basically average four twenty five uh, for three fives so that was one of the crazier things I've ever seen him done for sure all right that's yeah that's ridiculous i'm yeah I'm, I'm, i mean i got I'm i got unimpressed i got infinite insane things I'm like sure. son, but i <laughs> think sure. that was i think that might top it yeah wow okay that's it that was my question that was my question <laughs> i love it yeah well thank you townley for sharing those stories i know you got a hundred of those too it's awesome oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> well that's good that's the stuff you got to do to uh be the best and help usa with the 800 meter relay coming up in uh, late july so again we're behind you and uh we'll keep uh, me and you will keep cheering on the horns everybody else can cheer on whoever they want and it's gonna be a great <laughs> week and uh so on behalf of noah yanchulis and townley haas i'm josh davis and uh keep smiling and keep streamlining we'll see you around the pool soon bye-bye <laughs>